Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at some of the newest icons of WrestleMania. And first up is going to be Kofi Kingston. Uh, so he is a striker. This batch of promoters is for Faction Boss. So at 21k, um, earn 30% more boss shop currency from battles. So Kofi is a striker, and he promotes showboats. Uh, why is Kofi an icon of WrestleMania, you ask? Exclamation mark, bio Kofi Kingston. Um, but I think we all know. Kofi Mania. Enough said. Enough said. Kofi Mania was... Yeah. He actually won his WrestleMania match that he's a icon for, which is a nice change, actually, <laughs> with the promoters we have in-game. Uh, so I'm going to do two different previews on him, and the reason for that is because Kofi is multiply gem based, and there is still no alternative for Matt Hardy or Sin Cara. So this preview is going to be without them. I will do another preview with Matt and Sin Cara so we can get an idea um, of how he plays with either Matt or Sin Cara or both or neither. Um, so a couple different builds we're going to look at with him. The first is a three star. It's going to be double black purple one. So Trouble in Paradise is the finisher 12 MP. Deal 75,150 damage. Destroy a random three by six area and pin the opponent. Black two is the SOS 9 MP. Deal 72,332 damage and choose five gems to make into multiply gems of strength three. And purple one, the European uppercut, 8 MP. Deal 69,420 damage. Giggity. And make seven random gems into black gems. So we're going to run Woods for more purple MP, Titus for more black gems, uh, Santa Hogan for more gem damage and hall of fame brie i know she's not free to play um but in terms of black gem damage um none of the coaches are free to play except boogeyman who you could have got by grinding trivia uh she does give five percent she does also give an extra gem so we're gonna use her it's one gem don't at me uh for the belt what we're gonna do it's Full Fury. I've looked for uh, Black Move, Black Gem substats. We have a Tier 4 Black Percent, so 133% to Black Moves. Maxed out uh, Gem Damage Metal. And for the plate, we're going DX Army Assault. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven green gems into black gems at the end of your turn. Alternatively, you could use an Eternal Positivity Plate, which is break black get purple um i like this plate because you want to place your multiply gems on black gems for the most damage and this will help ensure um that you're having black gems on the board so we're gonna go up against ivar and let's see how this goes Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a purple match to get some more black gems on the board, but not the case. And my, my tour perks are not maxed, so this is not ready to go on turn one. But now we're going to make 12 random gems into black gems. Hopefully connect one match. Or 20. Oh, purple cascade. Good. That should trigger the plate. Yep. Okay. Cool. So 700k on a on a cascade. An oops cascade. And 
SOS, we're going to choose five to make into multiply gems. What I want to do is place these on black. But I also want to make sure they space out a little bit because the finisher destroys a random three by six. So by going kind of diagonal, we can hope that the random area is going to hit at least one of those. Now, if the finisher was a choose, that would be great. No cascade. We did get one of the multiply gems, and we did destroy enough purple to trigger the plate. But again, random. Now Ivar is going to do his thing. eat it to the face a little bit here. Maybe there'll be a purple match for us so we can get some more black gems on the board. Or not. Or not. Well, we tried. Again, this is just a three-star build. Loads up our black moves. And he's going to do his whole move routine again. Again, no purple match to trigger the plate. That's unfortunate. Really don't want to break my black gems. And I don't have to. Excellent. So again, we're going to space these out. checked. So we're doing 19k on the black gems, so 58k multiplied. Destroy a random area. Hope we clip, you know, hope for this. Two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. This definitely is not um Consistent or as high damage as I would like, though. But luckily, there's other moves. <laughs> and purple match. Excellent. Or just destroy the multiply gems. That works, too. The hope is that you destroy enough black multiply gems to reload both of the black moves and just keep hitting it. Um, not enough blacks over here or here. So I'm going to put them on purple and hope maybe we can charge up that purple move because we only need... Yeah, we only need three, so... We'll hit this again. If there's any consolation, the Trouble in Paradise move animations are really cool. Like, really cool. So... I'm okay watching that a couple times. match. This is where the plate comes in handy because you're starting to see the board is dry of black gems. We're also, you know, dry of health. Or we can just cascade all of the black gems together. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Hmm. 
This is a slobber knocker, and not the kind that favors us. Unfortunately. I'll take that plate helping us on the kick out. Though. And hopefully this does enough. Again, there's no black gems over here. Unfortunately, but we'll snag some purples again. You want to space it out because it's a random destroy. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, that was, um, that was fairly painful. <laughs> fairly painful, not gonna lie. Didn't expect it to be that rough, but it's done. We got the win. I mean, feud perks, that would be nice, but I don't think that's the build you'd run it in feud. Uh, let's move on and take a look at a different build. The second build we're going to take a look at is also available at three star. Um, it's, we're sticking with double black, but we're bringing in red one, which is the leaping elbow drop, 5 MP, deal 95,526 damage, and increase the strength of your multiply gems by two. So for this, we're going to run Bray for more black MP, um, Acro Balor for an extra multiply gem, and 38% more damage to multiply gems, and then we're going to keep Hall of Fame Bree, and we're going to keep, um, Santa Hogan. Again, Hall of Fame Bree kind of replacing Boogeyman right now. Mine isn't leveled up. Didn't want to take her off. Um, sticking with the same belt, but I've brought in a Viper Strike Plate. Whenever you break three or more black gems, make seven yellow gems into red gems. At the end of your turn, that should help us recycle the 5 MP um, red move. Hopefully stack some of our multiply gem damage a bit. And then we get an extra multiply gem from Acro Balor. So same tactic with laying um, the multiply gems out around the board and hoping that the finisher will randomly destroy a fair amount of them. So we're gonna do this. And that should hopefully, yep, bless the plate. Oh, of course he gets one. Well, all right then, Ivar. You just go ahead with your bad self. I was about to go, oh no! Nah, we good. We good. Okay, so six gems to make into multiply gems of strike three. I don't like the scatter here again. And increase the strength of our multiply gems. So now we have black gems doing. 121,000, and our reds are up to 85. Random area destroy. Again, if this was a choose, this would be, you know, you'd have so much more control. We did manage to fill almost everything, though. But chances are he's going to destroy the three multiply gems we have left. Just one, that was nice of him. That was nice of him. So our finisher is not loaded, which is bull. 
It will be now, but he's just gonna destroy a bunch of stuff. We may as well take a red match. Increase the strength of our multiply gems. I just know he's gonna destroy this one. We're gonna get it nice and high, and he's gonna destroy it. Yep, look at that. Look at that crap. Oh? Plot twist? Dun, dun, dun. Kel Intrigue. Kel Intrigue! Oh, there it is. Bastard. Boo this man! Boo. All right, now we're hoping here. Now we're just hoping, hoping a prayer. My lucky's going right here. Now it's close. Couldn't even get the red match. That's amazing. Boo! Keep booing this man! This is not going well. Like we're gonna get stomped. I think we can all come to the conclusion that this ain't the build. Right. We tried it. There was potential, we tried it, and it's just not. It's not going well. It was better on paper. Better on paper. Tell you what, though, we needed that. May as well hold out hope for the last multiplying gem in the world. It also doesn't help that we're both targeting um, black and red. Leave it alone. Thank you. The girl is getting nervous. Not that it's gonna destroy it. We're not even ready to go. Well, we can, here's what we can do. Get rid of his real breaks because that's getting annoying. Times 11, so this one gem is doing 266,000. So, we can do this. Yay. Why couldn't they just do that the whole time? Oh my god, he still kicks out. Oh my god, okay. It's over this next turn, guarantee. Gotta be over now. Gotta be over now. Come on. Yay! That's the sound. Yay! 
We destroyed the stuff I wanted to destroy. W's in the chat. That ain't the build, coach. That ain't the build. All right, but we won. Yay, we got out of it. Let's look at something else. Next build we're going to take a look at is bringing in the five-star move. We are going to run triple black. Five-star move is the boom drop, 8 MP. Deal 58,010 damage and make six multiply gems into black gems. So we're going to run this with double MP trainers because that makes sure the boom drop and the SOS are ready to go on turn one. If you had black move coaches, black gem coaches um, in place of Boogeyman and Santa Hogan, you could do that. Uh, but Bray and NWO Ted is going to make sure we can get both of these going on turn one. Uh, keeping with the Fury and the Black Percent. And I'm not using a plate for this one. Um, because I didn't want to. Um, yeah. That's my reason and I'm sticking to it. So let's see how this one looks. So we're going to choose five to make into Multiply Gems of Strike 3. What we're going to do is link the black gems we already have on the board. Now with feud perks, you'd make eight. Which could open up the queen's tiara plate if you have it. And it would increase the multiply gem strength to five. But that's 780k on turn one. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so, feud with the queen's tiara plate, that would be absolutely nasty. Um, I obviously can't simulate feud perks. Uh, but I can try. Let's take a look at one more build for him. So an alternate five-star build is going to bring in purple one. And we're going to run that alongside black two and black three. So European Uppercut to make random black gems, choose five to make it the multiply gems, and make multiply gems into black. So for this build, we're going to go with Woods for more purple. We're going to bring in Acrobaler to get six multiply gems. And we're going to keep Boogeyman and Santa Hogan. Again, I'm keeping the plate as a uh, belt and the plate as is. And we will try the Queen's Tiara plate after this. So not ready to go on turn one. Um, max tour perks would be. There we go. And then now these two will just recycle each other. So you don't even need the purple move. The purple move is really just to get going. But I didn't want to run double MP trainers because I wanted the extra multiply gem, a little bit more strength on those gems as well. There we go, up to almost 800k. So that's another way of getting to that move, and like I said, once you get the black moves loaded, they're going to recycle each other. So you can just go back and forth between them. Alright, let's get the fancy schmancy plate out and see what happens. Alright, so. The Queen's Tiara. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. Now, using Acro Valor will give us that sixth multiply gem. 
Our black gems are currently just shy of 20,000. I'm going to be bold here. And hopefully not cascade. We can get more black gems on the board. Do more damage. Perfect. So, two six gems to make into multiply gems of strength three. It's not really able to link those as well as I want. But now our black gems are up to 25k. Make six multiply into black. Just about 90k on turn two. So that gave us about an extra 100k damage. Again, Feud Perks is going to be where Kofi makes his money with this build. But definitely a candidate for the Queen's Plate. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes the look of Kofi Kingston. Again, without Matt Hardy and without Sin Cara, I will have another video using both of them uh, for people that do have them at their disposal. Did want to point out one more build that I didn't show as it is situational, uh, but Purple 2, the Russian Leg Sweep, 2 MP, deal 31,011 damage and make four random gems into red gems. The Hurricane Rana, which is red 2, 4 MP, deal... 251,787 damage and make 10 random silence gems into multiply gems of strength 4. And you would probably run that with the leaping elbow drop, 5 MP, increase the strength of your multiply gems. So that would be if you're going against somebody with silence gems and a lot of them. Uh, because you can get those pretty strong... You could maybe run it with the European Uppercut with the Viper Strike, Break Black, Get Red gems on the board. So that would be an alternative, but that is strictly for countering Silence Gem users. Um, again, this is part of the new batch of promoters that gives uh, Bosch Shop currency. You can get them in the Faction Boss store. So you need the promoter to get the promoter in a weird roundabout way. Um, but as a fighter, I think with feed perks and the tiara plate, Kofi is definitely going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, there was that $5 mystery box when they first debuted. Did you land Kofi? If so, how are you running him? Have you invested in him? And let me know all your thoughts. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.